but an even better team performance by, by your ball club. Talk about the will and the fortitude it took to win this game in two overtimes. That's, that's all it was, uh, honestly. Uh, after the loss against Dallas, uh, last game before the break, um, you know, we basically just said we're going to come out here and give it all we got. Um, you know, it didn't go, the whole game didn't go all we wanted. Uh, it was tough, obviously, but I love how we needed everybody on our team, top to bottom, uh, and, and, and literally everything everybody had. Yeah, so it was a good team win. BJ, how about your point guard, Kyle Lowry, stepping up, uh, making some big-time shots with the short clock uh, right when you guys needed it. That's what he does, man. He's a, he's a big-time player. He's smart. You know, he's a... He's a guy that knows what we need at all times on the floor. You know, he doesn't score a lot of points all the time, but he always knows the game. He knows what's going on and does everything it takes to win. So we're, we're lucky to have him. And, P.J., one final question before we let you get into the locker room. Jimmy Butler tonight struggled for much of the game to make shots. A, a lesser player would want to run away from the basketball when you're having that kind of shooting night. Boy, did he come up big in that second overtime. No, that's why he's the best. That's why he's who, he is who he is. Um, he didn't press. He didn't. You know, he has zero points for the longest. So he could care less. He's getting everybody else involved. Me, Duncan, he's just making sure all of us got our shots, got open looks, uh, not worried about himself because I, he knows that in the game, uh, he's going to finish. P.J. Tucker, a blessing for Heat Nation to have players and warriors and winners like you and Bam and Jimmy and Kyle Lowry. Congratulations. Enjoy the All-Star break and uh, great to go to the All-Star break first place in the Eastern Conference. No doubt about it. Appreciate you guys. Congrats. Thanks. We appreciate P.J. Tucker. We know Heat Nation does as well. Can you just take us through the uh, emotion of 14 down in the fourth quarter? to a game that didn't end for another hour or so and what happened after that? Did it end up being an hour after that? I don't know, it just yeah. seemed like Yeah, it felt like it. Uh, you know, these are, you know, uh, coaches love these kind of games um, where it's not going well, ball's not going in, the game's not easy, there's no, we didn't have a flow uh, at all and that, you have to credit Charlotte, you know, for that. Um, and they were taking control of the game, uh, you know, up, up through the, until the fourth quarter. Um, we knew we were going to have to really lock down defensively. Uh, and that gave us some confidence, you know, to be able to, you know, not have to feel like we had to score every single possession, you know, um, knowing that we could get, you know, multiple stops uh, in a row. And guys started to feed off that energy once we started to get some stops and then knocked down, uh, you know, Duncan got a couple. Um, we started to get, uh, you know, crawl back into it. And then at that point, our guys are great competitors. Uh, and it figured uh, at that point, we just have to figure out how to win and, and, and probably have to do it ugly. Uh, and then, you know, it, it ended up going two overtimes and, um, you know, all those emotions and swings, uh, late game package, all of that stuff, uh, you know, it's just great to be able to go through uh, all of that uh, down the stretch. Um, you know, from a coaching standpoint, I, I couldn't ask for more than to go through all of those experiences and then also have the teaching points and come out with a win. There's probably nothing harder in the NBA than a game before a week off. You know, it's almost like when those Southwest got to get a week commercial. Yeah. I sort of felt that yeah. in the first 40 minutes. Yeah, probably a little bit. Um, you know, guys are human. Uh, and we have – our guys are pros uh, in, the, in that locker room. Um, but we've been grinding, you know, for weeks. Uh, you know, to, you know, climb up the, the standings uh, in the East. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, we were a little bit flat, you know, through the second and third quarters. Uh, but we were able to, you know, dig it out and make some make some plays at the end. And, you know, you saw what, you know, Kyle was able uh, to do in, in clutch moments. Uh, he's a highly decorated clutch player. Uh, and he's just done a marvelous job of reading this team, coming to a or new organization, and figuring out how to, to help everybody. Uh, that's, that's what he's been about, you know, all these, these months is just trying to get everybody comfortable, trying to get everybody on the same page, get guys to the spots, get the ball to people. Uh, but, you know, his, his career has been based on clutch moments, you know, and... We needed every bit of that tonight, and he showed what he's capable of doing uh, in those moments. There's probably not a lot of nights you want Jimmy shooting seven three-pointers, but you probably very much want to Why not? I love eight. it. I, I love it. I, I wanted the walk-off. 
you know, sent us into the all-star break with that. Uh, uh, but I liked all those shots that he's, he's shooting. And, you know, th those are shots that are, are going to be available and teams are going to try to, you know, protect the paint, you know, as much as possible, put size, you know, on our guys. And Jimmy's such a competitor, you know, that uh, he hit the big ones when, when we really needed them. Um, and he understands that as much as anybody, that the game can be ugly, it might not be going our way, uh, but then, you know, when you have an opportunity to close the game and, and find a way to win it, uh, he's as good as anyone to, to help your team do that. And then probably if it wasn't for Duncan in the fourth, there probably would not have been either of the overtimes. And again today, he adds to his sort of milestones as the quickest NBA player to 700 three-pointers after doing it to six, to five, to four, to three. Yeah. I mean, just his performance tonight and his enduring consistency. They're really important, uh, you know, the boost that he gave us. His threes that he hit um, and the passing uh, out of the traps uh, gave us some life when we were trying to call, climb back into the game. Defensively, he did a really uh, good job and, you know, trying to bring him into, you know, some of the actions and, He's going to see that a lot. We're going to see that a lot, and we're going to get a whole lot better at it, you know, uh, going down the stretch. Uh, but his minutes were uh, really, really good. Uh, um, and, of course, those uh, big threes uh, were helpful. I know it beats the alternative, but just the boost of getting a win like this now to, I don't want to say save or maybe recover from for a full week, but how meaningful is it that this is the moment you take into the All-Star break? Uh, yeah. If... Again, if if I could script this uh, the way uh, I would want it to be, I don't think everybody else would want it to be, but I would love, you know, uh, a close game down the stretch and two overtimes uh, to be able to go through all those different emotions, the frustration, uh, you know, the different defensive sequences where we had to manage things and then work on our fourth quarter package uh, in, in these clutch situations. Uh, we got about you know, two weeks worth tonight. Uh, and again, those those teaching moments are a lot better when uh, you end up getting the win. Eric, you uh, went back to your starting group down 14, about eight and a half minutes left in the fourth. To have the stamina, they're obviously in great shape, those five and all your players, but to have the stamina to keep that defensive burr throughout the end of regulation, through two overtimes, what, what does it say about yeah, that? Yeah, uh, they're, they're competitors. They're, they're elite competitors uh, in this league. And that, that term gets thrown around a lot, uh, but I, I think it's kind of loosely based. Yeah, these guys are, are real competitors. Uh, and they were gassed at the end. They're in world-class shape, but by the, you know, the end of the first overtime, guys were gassed. Uh, at that point, uh, it's about your mental toughness and, and overcoming frustration, overcoming officiating, overcoming things that are not going your way and just make winning plays, whatever that may be. Uh, and, you know, th that goes for Bam as well. You know, he, he made some big time winning plays defensively. Um, you know, our guys are just, just about winning. And uh, you know, I'm glad we were able to do, get this win and, and win it ugly, find a different way. And obviously, it's always about what's next, and there are always new mountains to conquer. But where you are at the, at the All Star break, first in the East, pleased overall with the first half. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to give uh, kind of a, a state of union uh, where we are right now. Uh, the staff and Jimmy will get on to Cleveland, and then uh, we'll get some time away, and then we'll we'll start to work on, you know, this last stage of the season and, and get ready for a great push.